Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this lecture, we are going to study about the transfer characteristics curve of JFET by using the Shockley equation. So Shockley equation is finding the drain current ID equal to IDSS 1 minus VGS by VP the whole square. Your ID is the drain current. IDSS as already discussed in previous videos, IDS is drain to source current and this S is when gate to source voltage is zero. So we can expect maximum drain current in this case and 1 minus VGS by VP, VGS is a gate to source voltage and VP is the pinch of voltage. So this is the Shockley equation for JFET. So we will apply three different cases to observe what will be the characteristics curve of this transfer characteristics. So case 1, here VGS is equal to 0. If gate to source voltage is 0, so what happens is if you substitute in this equation, what is ID? ID will be equal to IDSS. So this is a kind of mathematical approach. Previously while seeing about the drain characteristics, we saw that ID will be equal to IDSS when VGS is equal to 0 based on the working of JFET. Based on the mathematical approach, we can see that when VGS is equal to 0, ID equal to IDSS, maximum drain to source current. Case 2 is when VGS equal to VP. So when VGS is equal to the pinch of voltage, so when VGS becomes equal to the pinch of voltage, what happens is the drain current becomes 0. While discussing about the cutoff region of uh, JFET, when gate to source voltage is equal to the pinch of voltage, it will reach a point where the both the depletion region meet together. They approach together but does not touch each other which is a pinch off point. So every JFET has a pinch off voltage. So if gate to source voltage is equal to that of pinch off voltage, without the help of drain to source voltage itself, gate source voltage will be able to form the pinch off point or reach the pinch off voltage. So that is this mathematical approach here you have mentioned VGS is equal to VP. So when VGS is equal to VP, if you can see, if you substitute VP here or VGS here, whatever, you will get 1 minus 1 equal to 0. So, drain current will be equal to 0. This is case 2. So, when plotting the points, point 1 we have voltage 0, comma IDSS. So, this is VGSS and this is ID. VGSS is X and IDSS is Y. Case 2, we have VGSS is equal to VP and ID equal to 0. This is point 2. So, this is IDSS by 4. So, for point 3, we have when pinch of voltage, when VGS voltage is half of the pinch of voltage. VP by 2, we get IDSS divided by 4. So, these are the three various cases where when VGS equal to 0, we get point 1, VGS is equal to pinch of voltage, ID equal to 0, maximum drain current in case 1, drain current will be 0 in case 2. This is one extreme and this is another extreme. Case 1 is one extreme and case 2 is another extreme. The center part of this I mean, uh, when pinch of voltage is half, it will be VP by 2 by IDSS by 4. It is the point 3. So, these are the various cases uh, by which we can plot the transfer characteristics using the Shockley equation. So, by default, let us have the maximum drain to source current as 8 milliamps. When VGS is equal to 0, ID will be equal to 8 milliamps maximum. Now VGS is equal to VP. So let us have VP for this JFET to be minus 6 volt. So when VP is equal to minus 6 volt, ID will be equal to 
if you substitute the value we will get IDSS is already 8 milliamps and again 1 minus minus 6 by minus 6 ID will be equal to 0 milliamps. Now for case 3 VGS equal to VP by 2. So if VGS is equal to VP by 2 we get minus 6 by 2 equal to minus 3 volt. So VGS now to be applied is minus 3 volt. So what is the ID we are going to get? So ID will be 2 milliamps. If you go back to the before equation, you have the points P3 if you refer in the slide in the video, VP by 2 will be point P3 will be VP by 2 by IDSS by 4. So VP by 2 is here minus 3 and IDSS by 4 is 2 milliamps. So plotting the points, so when minus 3 voltage, the point will be here. Now I am joining the transfer characteristics curve. So this point is where maximum drain current can be achieved where gate to source voltage is 0. This point is the another extreme point when pinch off voltage is equal to the gate to source voltage where drain current becomes 0. Here this is the point where gate to source voltage is half of the pinch off voltage. So by this we can understand the transfer characteristics by mathematical approach. Thank you.